So this has to be the largest test roof I've ever seen inside of a building. Well, I'm like a hands-on learner. I like to take the product, install it, you know, kind of see how it's done. So I got one of the sales reps with Pegasus, Brady, and he's gonna show me how to install Pegasus system utilizing skip rail. So first of all, I'm not a sales rep. I am the field support manager. I have been on the roof for quite a while. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hit two rows of rails. We have the base rail on the bottom. Use that as your anchor row. Um, so you have two rows of rails like normal. Well, you got, you're wrong. There's no rail right here. Like, where's the panel gonna sit right here? So, so we're eliminating this whole roll right here because we're gonna utilize these skip rail plants at the frame of the module and have the panel rest on the diving board of the skip rail clamp. Oh, so you're saying you don't need the rail right here? No, so this job we're actually eliminating two rows of rails and uh, six mounts, seven, uh, eight mounts, which are what would, is about uh, a quarter of the mounts for this job. Oh, that's, that's crazy. Okay, so we have row here, another row of panels, but only one rail for that row, and then another row of panels and only one rail for that row as well. So all of that hardware has been saved, eliminated um, by using, let's see that. Skip rail clamp. Skip rail clamp, all right. So instead of six rows of rails, we have four rows now. Cool, so let's uh, set the first four panels and then see how those go in. sit in the rail yeah you don't have to they're not gonna fall out okay so I'm gonna sit go ahead preload these here so then when I hit my panel down all I gotta do is line it up set it down slide it over and then we're gonna actually not gonna hit that one until we put the next panel down but we're gonna hit this one down Drop that down to two. I'm just gonna. I don't have to worry about. Oh, wait, this one needs to well, that looks good. It's the thin, so that's the thinnest gap in the industry. Looks good. All right, let's go ahead and All right, Brady, so I already noticed something you did wrong. We got mid clamps on the end of these solar panels right here. Yeah, so these are actually our multi clamps. They're uses both a mid and an end. The only thing you gotta look for if it's an end is make sure the black is on the outside. Oh, okay. So if you're, okay. So that's extremely useful. Um, so you have less skews. That, that clamp is just more useful. Yeah, so we only have one skew for a mid and an end, and that works for all frame sizes, 30 to 40 millimeters. Um, so you don't have to worry about any stopper sleeves and whatnot. So like some of our competitors, you have to have a stopper sleeve on the side. So that could be, that's what, five skews for ends and mids. Right, because it depends on the panel thickness for how big that stopper sleeve is. Right. So this one's compatible with any module frame size, the, the 30 to 40. Exactly. And then it can be used as a mid and an end. Comes preset at 42 millimeters. Oh, okay. So cool. you can just slide it right on. Um, what we did here is the bonding plate on the bottom here, right? So okay. that takes care of the bonding for panel to panel. But what we did is we lo dropped it down here. So then that way, what I like to do when I'm done with the, the array is I'll just take a step back Make sure that all my mids or all my ends have uh, black on the outside. So then that way I can do like I just flip it around for me. Yeah. So now we've set that first row. We're now doing the second row of panels where we'll be using the skip rail. How do, how do we put these on? So what we're gonna do here 
is you put one on the outside. What I like to do is put it on here, hit it into where I feel it has, hits the flange, and then you clamp it down. Oh, it just stays on there? It just stays on there like that. So what you okay. see is this plastic here bites onto the flange of the, the frame, and then you have all these notches, right? Those are all the common frame sizes. Oh, and it's spring loaded, so you just press it down. Exactly. To whatever thickness this is, which is what, a 30 millimeter? It's like almost uh, all the way down. This one is a 32. 32, okay, so it's, it's got one more notch to go. Yep. On there. So then you, so what we're gonna do here, right? Okay. So that one goes on the, is completely underneath, and the what you can do there is if, say, you needed to do a pyramid or whatnot, it can go anywhere in the frame, right? So, and then what we're gonna do is this one is gonna span for these two panels. Now what we're gonna, what we wanna do is we wanna line it up with the row above it. Where the orientation of the panels below it doesn't really matter. It just matters that they're there. So then we're gonna take this, cause this is where the corners are gonna meet. I line the bolt up with my gap because that's gonna tell me where this tab needs to go. And this tab is the same thickness as our multi-clamp. So then that way it makes it to where your space, your spacing is just taken care of. So put it there clamp it down so how so how do you set it now that you have these on what's the best way to put the panel down so right here since this is portrait what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead rest these in the diving boards of the skip rope clamp okay right lower it down and for the first one i like to put it in like this and then i'm going to take my my panel wires plug them into my micro here this needs to go over just a hair there you go that's lined up so then okay. I go ahead, lower the panel down, that uh, multi clamp in place. And then I make sure that this is, yep, we're good. So then I just tie this one. one. And then leave that one loose. Exactly. Okay, leave, and, leave. and that, because it's acting as a big clamp. Put it on the side here. I find it easier to go ahead, do my wire management here, right? But for the sake of demonstration when I just lower it down that falls into place I slide my pre-installed multi-clamp over tighten that tighten that you can see it pulled up so it automatically does all the leveling for you so you don't got to run string lines or anything like that you never got to worry about your panels not being level and then also this gap automatically takes care of all the thermal expansion contracting for you. Oh, right, right. Because if we had a rail right here and this rail was too high, we would get some, like, you know, this panel gap lifting up or lowering or whatever. This is just making those two panels nice and flush and even going across there. So exactly. So this eliminates that problem of having to pull panels up, yeah. you know, tighten it. Because, you know, whenever you have leveling problems, it always ends up happening on a Friday when you have tickets till you know, like Motley Crue or whatever. Yeah, so. exa exactly. And then you finish up the install and then you go look at it from the ground and you're like seeing this exactly. and everything and it looks terrible, customers unhappy. That's a lot faster and yep. quick, you know, skipping that step. Yeah, so it not whatever. only eliminates materials and the steps of installing the materials, but also eliminates headaches that you would possibly have. Yeah, it looks better with less work. Exactly. All right, I'm gonna give this one a shot. Set it down there. So that all you gotta do there. Exactly. Yeah, it just slides in there. Like you can adjust it. That slides easy. second row went in fast it's quick not to mention the time you save on not having that rail there hey brady i think we're gonna have to take all these panels off there's uh 
Look, there's no, there's no ground wire. Yeah, we don't need ground wire because the skip rail clamps actually take care of all the rotor row bonding. Well, what about like the ground wire from the, you know, uh, combiner? Oh, into the, the, the box? Yeah. So that's actually the next thing that we're gonna put on here. So this is our new bond box. So this takes care of all the bonding, bonding the array out to your green coming up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it, you're gonna click it into place, hit it down, same half inch that throughout the whole system. And then you'll see here, inside is, you have some lay-in lugs. So, so, so this right here is grounded to the rail, which the rail is then grounded to the frame of the panel. And then the rows are grounded together because of skip rail. Exactly. Skip rail, the multi-clamps do the bond, the panel to panel bonding. Skip rail clamps take care of row to row bonding. And then this takes care of all of the array bonding. So I don't need any number six copper. No copper on the roof. We have eliminated all the copper that goes underneath your array. Wow. So you can see you have this thick aluminum bracket with that bonds here to there and attaches to your lugs that you can put your green coming up from your ground into here. And then you have additional ones for any additional arrays that you have to bond to it. Okay. On. That's that's it. That's it. You just rock it on there. Get it on that slot. Yep. It's solid. Go. Flip it around. Oh. The tap goes up. That's it. That's it. And so this one right here is a skip rail clamp, but we have what we call the kickstand on it. So it's gonna increase the stow capability of the clamp itself so you can install it in uh, tighter areas. So it'll come already installed, put it where you want it, clamp it down, and then it doesn't actually penetrate the roof. You just gotta spin it until it hits the, until it hits the comp, the shingle. And then so then that way when snow is on it, it's adding strength to the panel. So you can see right here, I mean, I'm 240 pounds and that's not going anywhere. Oh, right. This is a seven foot stick of rail and that's how it comes. That's how it comes. That's how you get it. It's their shorter rails and there's a massive benefit for that as far as transportation you got to get that from the warehouse into your truck and onto the roof and it's a lot easier to carry and to move around oh yeah logistically you can it's a lot easier sending seven feet around than it is sending those 14 because 14 footers you got to get your own flatbed to send by themselves to send around seven footers you can throw that on the pallet and send it ups wherever you want okay and so that's just like logistics for even if it's in your own personal truck or if it's being shipped to the job site for you the vehicle is different exactly. and it oh, makes a lot more sense now so we do have a splice the, the one thing i'm noticing about this splice is normally splices get in the way of like a foot or even a mid clamp yeah exactly so since this one's internal it'll never interfere with the mount because the mount's going to go on the outside of the rail so you can put a mount and a, a clamp on a splice and there's not going to be any interference oh that's nice so this one just so happens this the break in the rails right there splices inside and this mid clamp can go right there but e let's say you even had an attachment the attachment could land in that channel it's not being obstructed by the splice as well So you can use the multi-clamp on the ends as well as the mids, but what do you have here? So this is the hidden end clamp. So this is for if you have a customer who's really worried about aesthetics, wants to have that nice clean finish on their so on the side to where you can't see the clamps, they hide it a little bit better. Um, so then that we can use the hidden end clamp. So right here, this, 
bites down on the flange of the, the inside flange of the panel. And then this makes it to where you, you can see it's a one hand operation. I'll show you what I mean. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the panel up, slide that in, you push it that back to clear the flange. And then I'm gonna pull it. These teeth bite down on the bottom of the rail. Now what I would really do is I would actually cut this nice and flush to the frame. But just for demonstration purposes, I'm leave it there. It's now nice and taut. Oh yeah. I'm gonna take this. I like stuffing it in just in case I gotta come back for service, like a change out a micro or something like that. Yeah. You, but it's not structural, so you can cut it. Take that, put an end cap on, you're good to go. All right, here's my feedback on this. First yep. thing, it looks good. Great. It just, this array looks good. Um, one of the things I noticed about it is we didn't spend a lot of time stringing rails, leveling the system, squaring things, doing a lot of these steps because they've been eliminated, but the system still level and square and looks good. Exactly. And yeah. what, what's the big reason for that? What's the big reason for not having to do that? Yeah. Is just because the clamp does a lot of that work for you. The clamp, because the action of the clamp takes, puts the frames of the panels together, right? So it eliminates the needing, the need for string lining up and down the roof. Cause the whole point of that is basically really to align the top rail of the bottom row with the bottom rail of the, the row above it. So because you don't have those two rails, there's no need to do that. Okay. Yeah, that, that makes sense. And then another thing that I noticed was after we got the first four panels in, it seemed like the second four, the row above it, went in in half the amount of time. Oh yeah, it's even easier. Once you get going with it, it just starts flying. Once you get that bottom row in and you get that those clamps going, it's perfectly, uh, it stays straight. So when you have like a rail free system, if you don't keep your, your bottom row perfectly straight, your gaps start to walk and pinch, but because you still have the rails there, you have all the rails there to do all your wire management, all your rails, rails there keep the panel straight and keep those gaps nice and perfect. Yeah, so I'm seeing that's like the perfect blend between rail free and a rail system. Yep, and that's that's what we uh, what we wanted to do um, when we were designing this. Yeah, it's like it's, it's you get all the benefits. You get the speed of it. You get the like the ease of it. You know, like the less material, the easier to ship to the job site. Exactly. Yeah, you get with the, you take the seven foot rails with the skip rail clamp in combination of those two you get all the benefits of both the rail and the rail free without the hassle for either of them. Without the hassle of setting 14 footers around or the hassle of keeping things straight or the hassle of um, the wire management with the rail with rail free. You know, instead of clipping everything to the frames, everything stays where it's supposed to be. Dude, I love it. So yeah. skip rail from Pegasus. Look at that array, that's clean.